What's going on YouTube? All right, today's presentation, I have some projects I've been working on, uh, two which are complete, or I should say they're both in work in progress, but I do have them both up and fully operation. As you can see, the top little box that you see is an amplifier I just made. It's based off of a chipset called a TDA-2009A. You can Google that, put, plug that into your search engine, and you can find what the chip is all about, how to build an amplifier circuit, and so on and so forth. Okay, the top amp, I would say if you're looking to build a, a similar amp like this, look at the spend close to maybe 30 to 40 bucks with all the parts and stuff like that, just to assemble it and a lot of your time as well, any free time that you have available to assemble the whole thing based off of the schematic. And on the bottom is the preamp that's used to drive the amp. And it's, a, 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 I can't think of the, um, the chipset for it, but if you Google K100 serial amp kit, you can find different online vendors that carry that preamplifier kit. And I just got it out, an old tuner that you see enclosed the preamp kit and I just made a couple of uh, I will say some changes to it not really changes but just some additions to it this switch here on the far left controls the stereo channels 1 and 2 and meets the sound output this switch here just switches between the uh, stereo equalizer or the main preamp board and this controls the loudness. This is your volume, bass, treble, and balance. And this is the input selector switch, LED. Let's me know that the amp, the preamp is working, and a power on and off switch. I should have done that. And that's pretty much uh, today's presentation. Please rate and comment and ask questions. And hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Take care.